Hi, everybody. I'm John Pacino for Super's Corner. I'm with Frank Gargiulo, our superintendent. Uh, we have a very serious issue we want to talk about a little bit. And, uh, uh, of course, everybody knows about what happened in Newtown, Connecticut, and the, uh, the massacre there. And uh, uh, there's a lot of calls for armed guards and different security measures. And I, I just want to kind of briefly talk to Frank about uh, our security issues, if he thinks there's a change that's needed, or uh, is he in agreement with armed guards or all that stuff that's going on? And I just wanted to get his views on that. Well, first of all, it's a serious issue. I mean, schools need to be clean and safe. Uh, and if they're not both of those things, uh, you have a problem with your right. school, even though most people think they should be places of education right. before that. Right. Yeah, and so I, I definitely feel that, that people need to feel safe in the school. The same token is uh, there needs to be a balance. I mean, a lot of tragedies in the country today, and of course, we, uh, there's all reaction to that by a lot of people. Some mm -hmm. people want to go lock up the school totally. Right, right, right. And, uh, but I really believe there's got to be a balance. We, we're continually see working at that here mm -hmm. in this district uh, to make the place safer and safer and safer. Uh, we practice all the, the nuances that you need to practice. So if an incident happens, we tell the kids how to react. And usually it's, it's a lockdown right. drill right. or an evacuation drill mm -hmm. or a fire drill or whatever those drills are that we, we orchestrate. And we're paying a lot of attention to it right now. Uh, we have many doors and, and several buildings Right. Uh, and sometimes kids travel between buildings, and so uh, uh, we have buses. We have a lot of a lot of concerns, and we're looking at all those pieces, and we'll make the schools as safe as we possibly can make them, mm -hmm. without creating an, an atmosphere of uncomfort, right, right. where now people don't even want to come there. Right, right. So there's a balance. There's a balance to it. In terms of arming people inside the school, I don't know. I have to give that a lot of thought. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite topics. I don't. I think that's almost kind of done. give more guns out because it's going to make you safer. Right. I don't think that ever would, uh, but that's, you need to, everything needs to be on the table. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's the issues now are talking about, uh, about who gets a gun, mental health, uh, uh, security in the buildings, all right, those pieces right, need to be talked about. Factors. And what I didn't think was, was practical maybe 20 years ago, today, yeah. they need to talk about them. You need to have an open conversation with everybody uh, about what's good. good communication. Must, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Without changing the culture of the school. Right. That's a big Big piece. You know I know I mean? a lot of schools are putting in armed guards or they're, they're putting, uh, 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 what do you call it, protectors on the windows and all, all, the, all the different things they can do. I mean, every <clears> day I see in the paper some schools doing something. And, and these, these are serious concerns. I mean, well, uh, I think that, no, that you can't take anything lightly. Right, right. You know what I mean? So you need to have a, a, a policy in place. But the big thing is to train the people and the, and the students yeah. in the buildings on what, what they need to do in case. Because right. I don't think that you can stop stuff from happening, mm -hmm. but you can react in a way that, that saves a lot of lives. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, and, and you can protect the building as much as you can. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, without making it a jail. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah. uh, my personal opinion, the, the gun laws, I mean, I like to see them changed. Uh, I like to see stricter enforcement. Uh, you know, no one needs to be carrying around an a automatic weapon and, and a, 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 a bullet compartment that has 100 shells in it. I, I don't think so. I don't think that was needed for protection. But, you know, I, I think there's going to be a real battle with that. And, uh, and that's not the only factor. And as you said, there's mental health factor. There's all kinds of factors involved. But I don't understand why uh, these gun laws can't go into effect. That's my opinion. Well, I mean, you're, you're, because they don't yeah. go into effect so easy because yeah. many people have guns. I mean, right. that's what it's about. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, so, so it's, a, it's a big issue. So how yeah. do we make with take Talking about that, how do we make the place safe? Right. You know what I mean? What, right. what does we do? It, it could be, I mean, eliminating uh, one kind of a gun, there's yeah. a thousand other kinds of guns. And there's you know three I mean? million gun, three, yeah. 300 million guns out yeah. there. So, you know, so. Th those are not easy issues. No. I mean, who has the gun is more important than right. the gun itself. Right, right. You know what I mean? I mean, I have no problem with eliminating a certain kind of gun. I mean, you, obviously, you can't have a bazooka today. Right. Therefore, nobody has one. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Truly, nobody has one. Yeah. So now they have the next one they're going to eliminate is the other one. That's not going to stop people yeah. from doing stuff. It's just going to uh, make you, makes a little place a little bit safer. And maybe if yeah. we have to do it, we should do it. I, yeah. mean, you know, the, I mean, somebody with a military gun that shoots, can shoot a 100 rounds, uh, if that's down to five rounds or 10 rounds, 
at least this that's a little bit safer. I mean, it's not going to solve the problem, but you know, instead of 30 deaths, you have less. You well, know? you could so, argue back and forth yeah. about that because a lot of the tragedies were done without guns. I mean, the, the yeah. first big tragedy in 1927 where we lost 37 kids, mm -hmm. the guy used a stick of dynamite. Oh, really? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah. The guy that blew up the uh, McVeigh, the guy that blew up that the federal building and Oklahoma. killed those kids yeah, in yeah, the, yeah. the daycare center, in Oklahoma. he didn't even yeah. go inside the building. Yeah. He parked the truck next to it. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's a, there's a craziness in the, uh, yeah. that we need to deal with. It, that's why it's, it's really a holistic approach. It's yeah. not one approach. It's what's the many things we can do to make ourselves safer and safer and safer. You think our culture forces that? I mean, with the, the violent video games, the violent movies, uh, well, it kind of we make it glamorize it, and, and uh, it, it, I think it kind of affects some of the, the people that are on the fringe to begin with. You know, I, I don't know, John. Yeah. That's another that's issue. Another I mean, I mean, that's a, but I mean, they've had uh, we've had violent movies yeah. as long as I'm alive. Yeah. You know, the violence that I had when I was a kid was probably Hop Along Cassidy shooting yeah, an yeah, Indian yeah, yeah. or something like that. But it was still violent. Right, right. You know what I mean, it wasn't any less violent. It was just a different way of. Creating right. that violence today, we we're more graphic because we have the tools to be more graphic yeah. in the violence, you know. But it's not well, that it wasn't. I mean, even the superheroes, yeah. the little ones, the, yeah, they're yeah. they're punching people and kicking people. It's the same type of thing. So it's I don't know if that really that is. You know what I mean, I mean, but there's I, a lot of kids that are in front of computers for two hours shooting, you know, shooting these yeah, video well, games. They're shooting well, any, people. And it maybe any, makes them insensitive. I don't know. Anybody you know? that goes in to kill many many people. Right. Has a problem. Has a problem. In yeah. my mind. Yeah. So it's a deeper thing than that. Whether they watched the video, or didn't watch a video. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And well, so, it's so, it's so it's so a, many factors. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a tragic yeah. uh, tragedy, and it's a, something that we got to have. Like I said, everything on the table. Right. We need to talk about everything and do those things that we can do right. to make the place safer. Because I know I know I've been teaching with you uh, under you for the last thirty yeah. something years. Safe school is the number one priority. Well, it, right. it, it, you can't do anything else unless you. Well, if the school's so not safe, safe, and that's emotionally safe, yeah. and, and that's yeah. why I fight with the. You yeah. know, when we talk about safety, we're talking about physical safety now. Yeah. But I believe in even emotional safety. That schools sometimes aren't even emotionally safe. Yeah. But you know, when get to that grade thing, we talk about it some other time. Yeah, yeah. Creates another problem. Right, right. You know, and creates part of our problems, by right. the way. Right. So. Yeah. So that's for another talk, another, that's another time. Talk. Yeah. Well, thanks, Frank. And it was a special uh, little issue that we were talking about. Not little, but a special issue here mm -hmm. on Super's Corner. Thanks, Frank O'Jewell from the schools. I'm John Pluchino. We'll see you. What will education look like in the future? How can today's schools prepare our youth, the nation's most important asset, for the skills and abilities necessary for the 21st century? The television show, Super's Corner, produced by Hudson County Schools of Technology, presents this future with features on the cutting edge technology programs integral to today's learning. Innovation, creativity, and vision are the ingredients needed for today's dynamic, ever-evolving educational environments. This will allow our youth to compete successfully in tomorrow's global economy. Let Super's Corner usher you into this new, exciting frontier of knowledge. <laughs>